Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning and autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. To start things off, I thank everyone for giving me such a great boost in social recognition lately. With me being in San Diego and such... Because one of my San Diego videos is my most popular video of the year and the fourth most popular video that I've made as of so far. So I have you guys to thank for helping me out with that. That's really going to help in the long run. Thank you. For this particular video, I'm going to introduce three different characters, which are basically... Um, Three supposed heroes. Maybe one of them's an anti-hero. We just have to find out. I hope you enjoy the videos and such. Let's begin. Here's the first character. Big Bunny. Real name, Bethany. Height, 550 feet. Weight unrevealed. Status hero and genetic duplicate of Lepra. Base, New York City, Mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Mm -hmm. Behavior. Flirtatious yet weird. She's never worried about who she fights. Lethality. Surprisingly deadly. She's unexpecting in combat. Mm -hmm. Weaknesses. Her stomach. She's sometimes too weird to be around. Powers. She has immense size and strength, acute senses, and can eat any form of matter. Though she doesn't have a healing factor, her bloated anatomy is enough to make her immune to most damage. Despite her appearance, she also has high agility that's hard for others to master. Eyes deep blue, hair yellow, in a pixie cut. Origin One time, Lepra was fighting the evil Electrica in New York City until she was given a solid, solid zap that would have killed her. But when she got zapped, the atoms inside the Lepra shifted and formed a genetic duplicate of herself with blue eyes, short blonde hair, a pair of rabbit ears, wearing a similar outfit as Lepra, and was unconditionally plump. After introducing herself to Lepra as Bethany, the two were able to defeat Electrica. After the Master examined Bethany, the Master stated that she and Lepra were practically the same person. The team then heard that the Patriots Three were fighting the anti-Americans at Washington, D.C., and went to help them. The tyrant Valkyrie was surprised that Bethany was tougher than she appeared, and that her weapons were doing nothing on her. Losing the fight in the process. Happy of her victory against Valkyrie, Bethany was given the name Big Bunny, and was since hailed as a hero for all innocence. Costume. She wears a pink latex suit. Team, solitary, or with other heroes. Original inspiration, rabbits. Here's the next character I'm going to introduce. You know, I hope you're liking the video so far. Gyrus. Real name, inapplicable. Height, 5 feet 11.5 inches. Weight, 157 pounds. Status, Villain turned hero and daughter of Thana. Base, deep space, mole. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful, protective, and relentless. She'll do anything to destroy her mother and end her reign of terror. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, she can never tolerate her mother. Powers, she possesses half the powers of her as her mother, along with martial arts and a strong healing factor. She also wields an arsenal of futuristic weapons. Eyes olive green, hair deep green in shoulder length. Origin One time, the tyrant Thana decided to have a willful servant who would serve her during her plans of cosmic conquest. Using her anniversal powers, she created a purple-skinned baby girl as a daughter whom she named Gyrus. By adulthood, Gyrus battled the Vastly Goddess until she was told 
that Thena was a genocidal threat even to her own daughter. Since then, Jairus would do anything she can to end the life of her tyrannical mother, for the sake of the innocents. Costume. She wears a set of futuristic clothes. Team Solitary or with other heroes. Original inspiration, Marvel's Gamora. Here's the last character I'm going to introduce, and I hope you're enjoying this so far. Revenging Angel. Real name, Angel Mighty. Height, 675 feet. Weight, 724 tons. Status, anti-hero and daughter of goddess. Base, Ascalympius Mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Behavior, witty and flirtatious. She hates the wrath of her mother. Lethality, deadly despite her innocent soul. Weaknesses, guilt via the wrath of her mother. Powers, she has immense size and strength, immortality, teleportation, and uncanny reasoning skills. She loves stomping on things. Eyes, greenish bluish, hair, deep brown in shoulder length. Origin. One time, Cosmic made an interference in the pre-birth chamber of the Priantrum Nonsiculus, making the spirits unable to phase through. Eventually, Goddess cured Peggy from the interference and banished Cosmic, and Peggy rewarded Goddess with a daughter of her own. When the child was born, Goddess chose to name her after her loyal follower, Halo, and she was thus named Angel Mighty. By her adolescence, Angel got bored of being an Ascalympius and decided to go berserk across the Miami of the Alpha Earth. When Goddess arrived in rage, Angel begged to her mother in shame. Since then, Goddess would do all she can to stay calm when the revenging Angel is doing mischief, to avoid seeming like a morbid parent, and thus ruin her reputation. Costume. She wears a green top black shorts, and tan spike boots. Teams, solitary, with the Alpha Gods and other heroes. Original inspiration, adolescence. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those three things, and second mention again, I really thank you guys for the stuff with San Diego, and I also thank my brother Oliver for helping me figure out how to alter my thumbnails. The only problem with the thumbnails is that I have a limited number of illustrations as of so far, and I have to um, have some modifications, like I, some processing, until I could add more thumbnails to certain things, if that makes any sense to you guys. But at least I tried a plenty amount as of so far. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month, and a fine school year and such. Hope you guys having the best of times, and until next time, in transmission.